Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2017, slot 1 DILR, is based on a team management. It says that there are 21 employees in a division, out of whom 10 are special skilled employees and other 11 are regular skilled employees. So they are classified as SE and RE. So 10 SE and 11 RE in the teams. And there are 25 projects. Five projects are challenging and remaining ones are standard. Each of the challenging projects has to be completed in different months. Every month there are five teams, T1, T2, T3, T4, T5. They would work on one project each. So five months, 25 projects. T1, T2, T3, T4 and T5 are allotted challenging projects in the first, second, third, fourth and fifth months respectively. And the remaining will be assigned the normal projects in different months. The team assigned the challenging project has one more employee than the rest. So challenging project will have one more employee. There are 21 employees divided by 5. That means 5 into 4. Okay. So that means a, a standard project will have 4 employees. A challenging project will have 5 employees. Okay. Now, we are given that uh, in the first month, T1 has one more SE than T2, T2 has one more SE than T3 and so on. The condition is given to us and uh, for the second months, between two successive months, the composition of the team will change as per certain rules. So, we will draw a table over here, filling RE, SE, R, S, the number of regular and special employees. Okay. Now, it says that the number of special employees, it is one more here, one more here, one more here and one more here, okay. So, if you take the minimum possible employees, let us say if, if we think of one, right, what happens if we think of one? So, if you take one, two, three, four, five, it becomes 15 SEs, but there are only 10 SEs, okay. So, the only possibility is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay, so this is the composition in the first month. Now, total 5 employees are there in the challenging project. So, 1, 1 person here. Now, team 1 will get a challenging project here. Team 2 will get a challenging project here. Team 3 gets a challenging project here. Team 4 challenging project in this month and team 5 challenging project in this month, okay. Now 4 employees, so 1, 3, 2, 2, 3, 1 and 4, 0, right. Now what happens in the second month, the team allotted the challenging project gets 2 SE from the team that was allotted the challenging project in the previous month. So it will get 2 SEs and in exchange, 1 RE is shifted from the former team to the latter team. So this team, like this was the challenging project previously, now 2 SE will go to this team and 1 RE will go from this team. So it had 5 members, right, 2 will reduce and 1 will increase, so it will have now 4 members. This team previously had 4 members, 2 SE is added and 1 RE gone, so it will have 5 members. So this is how the team composition will change. So let us do this transfer from T1 to T2. So T1 had 4 SEs, now it will have 2 SEs and it will have 5 SEs and it had 1 RE, so this 1 RE will go to this team, it will make it 2, 2 and 0, 5. So that is the first transition, right, from challenging to, uh, from, to the challenging team. Then there is another thing we need to do after the above exchange. So first exchange is done, if T1 has any SE and T5 has any RE, then one SE is shifted from T2, T1 to T5 and one RE is shifted from T5 to T1. Also, if T2 has any SE and T4 has any RE, then one SE is shifted from T2 to T4 and one RE is shifted from T4 to T2. So we have exchange between T1 and T5 after the exchange of challenging uh, team. And then we have T2 and T5, T4. Now, SE will go from T1 to T5. So basically SE will keep reducing in team 1 and 
RE will come from T5 to T1. Similarly, T2 to T4, SE will be transferred and RE will be transferred from T4 to T2. Okay. So, first let us note down the others. Others come as they are. Now, transfer between team 1 and team 5. So, SE should go. So, it will become 3, 1. SE decrease and S decrease over R will increase. And similarly, here uh, S will, uh, R will decrease, S will increase by 1. Same goes here. R will increase, S will decrease and R will decrease, S will increase. Okay. So, 1 and 4 that will become R will decrease 3 and it will become 1. Okay. So, that is one transfer. Then same transfer between T2 and T4. So, it will become R will increase. So, it will become 4, 1, 4 and here R will decrease and S will increase. So, 2, 2 will be the structure. Now, we will repeat the process for the next months and get the team composition for the next three months. Okay. So, first the challenging team transfer. So, two SEs go here. SEs become two. Regular become two. Two SEs go here. So, it becomes one four. Okay. Now, one four we know that uh, this is the structure and the rest of the teams remain as they are. Now, after this, the exchange between these pairs. Okay. So, uh, if there is an exchange, that means 3 1 will become 4 0, increase in regular employees, and this will become 2 2, increase in special employees. This will become 3 1, and it will become 1 3. Okay. So, that is how uh, the team changes. Now, next month, this team will transfer uh, the uh, regular employees here. Okay. So, uh, when it transfer the regular and uh, this employee, so regular employees will become 2 and special will become 2. So, special becomes increase of uh, 2 that is 5 and regular will become 0. So, 0, 5 is the transfer here and then we have this will remain 4, 0. This, uh, this was 3, 1 and 2. Now, what happens is uh, we need to, uh, now this is already done, right? We cannot uh, make it one more special employee here. So, the team structure remains like this for this month because we cannot send uh, a special employee. There is no special employee and it has already five special employees. We cannot send an RE here, right? Next month, uh, see team three, all the others will remain as it is. Now, between these two, the regular employee will increase, right? Special employee will decrease and it will have four regular employees, the four special employees and one regular employee. Now, in this case, team one does not have anything. Team three remains as it is. They will have an exchange and this three one will become four zero. And this will become zero and four. So, it will have, uh, sorry, it will become uh, 0 and 4. Spatial should increase here. So, 0, 4. So, this is how the teams will look in each of the months. Okay. Now, there is one more information given to us. Each standard project has a total of 100 credit points. Each challenging project has a total of 200 credit points. So, that credit points seen will be asked in some of the questions. So, this is the team structure for the 5 month duration. Now, let us look at the questions and answer them based on this table. The number of times in which the composition of team 2 and the number of times in which composition of team 4 remain unchanged into successive months are. So, team uh, 2, if we see, there is one time there is no change. Okay. And team 4, we see that every month the composition is changing. So, T2, 1 and team 4 0 times. So, 1 comma 0. The number of SE in T1 and T5 for the projects in the third month are. So, third month SE is in team 1 and team 5. So, 0 comma 2. The next question is on the challenging project and the credit point system. 
So it says the standard project has 100 credit points, while each challenging project has 200 credit points. Now there are 100 credit points for a standard project and it has four team members. So each one gets 25 per member, 25 points. If there is a challenging project, it is done by five members. So that project has 40 points per member. Now the question is, which of the following cannot be the total credit points earned by any employee from the projects? Okay. So if let's say what can be the maximum points, if a person works in five challenging projects, that person get 200 points. Okay. Now, if a person reduces the, uh, like if a person shifts from a challenging to a standard project, so instead of 40, he will get 25 points. So he will reduce 15 points. He can get 185. If another shift happens, the person will reduce by 15 points and can get 170 points. Minus 15, 155 points. Minus 15, 140 points. Minus 15, 125 points. So basically, if a person has all five projects as standard, will get 125. And depending on the number of challenging projects, these will be the number of points a person can make. Okay. Now, uh, 140 is possible, 170 is possible, 200 is possible, 150 is not possible. The last question says, one of the employees named Anik scored 185 points, which of the following cannot be true? So if a person is scoring 185 points, that means four challenging and one standard project. Okay. Now a person cannot be in the same team and continue to do the challenging projects. So the person has to shift from one team to another. Now, how does this shift happens from T1, one can go to T2, T2 to T3, T3 to T4. So there is a special employee. So there is a possibility that the person can go from these teams. Okay. And there is another change, which is T1 to T5, a special employee goes here and T2 to T4, a special employee goes in this direction also. Okay. So now let us look at the options and see that how do we make the changes. And similarly, the opposite also happens. Like for example, T2 to T1, T1 T2 to T3, but a person should be in the uh, challenging project, right? So challenging project is moving in the ahead direction. So we will ignore this condition of shifting to a previous team. Okay. Now let us see this cases where uh, we are given the options. First option says Anish, Anik work only in teams T1, T2, T3 and T4. Okay. So he should pick four challenging projects. Suppose he picks the challenging project here and is transferred to this team and then is transferred to this team and then is transferred to team four. Now he's not transferred. He works on this project. So he has worked on four challenging projects and one standard project. So 185 is possible. Okay. Now we have to find which of the following is not possible. So second option says that a person worked in T1, T2, T4 and T5. Okay. Now see T1 he worked first month, second month in T2, then T2 can go to T4 also. So suppose he goes to T4 in this month. Okay. Second month he was here, third month he goes to T4. Now fourth month he works on this team and fifth month he works on this team. So this is also possible. Like first month he worked here, second month here, third month he exchanged, he got exchanged with T4. So because T2 can exchange with T4. So he has worked on four challenging projects. So still can make 185 points. So this is also quite possible. Okay. Third option says he works in T2, T3, T4 and T5. So suppose he was not in T1, he worked in T2 in the first month, second month also he worked in T2, then he moved on to T3, T4 and T5. So still he can do four challenging projects, two, three, four, five and one standard project and can still make 185 credit points. Now fourth point that should be the answer because we have eliminated three of the options. Ani worked in only in teams T1, T3, T4 and T5. Now, if the person does not work in T2, how can he not work in T2? Like he has to jump the teams. Now, a person cannot go from T1 to T3 without going to T2. 
see if a person has to go from t2 to t t1 to t3 the person has to go this way only or a person can go from t1 to t5 right t5 then a person cannot go to t3 so a person if he worked in t3 cannot go to t1 or vice versa okay so this means this case is not possible you can go from t1 t2 like this or you can have an exchange like this like in the second option we had the exchange like first month he went from t1 to t2 and then t2 to t4 but we cannot go from t1 to t3 without going from t2 so this case is not possible so this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions